another classic radio air check on the home of classic top 40 radio airchecks.com and I'll be in the parking lot of check. <laughs> <laughs> Red Hots get you Red Hots that's a good career move for you I think until I can get a hold of Mike Lynn as soon as I get off of the air <laughs> Dave Elmer I hear you knocking NBC <laughs> WNBC it's 9.55 now 5 minutes still 4 minutes till 10 o'clock time this morning Dad, I bought a chair there, baby. <laughs> yeah. Drop your laundry over there by the lamp. Uh-huh. You can leave your hat on. I'm just shake them things around. Throw some breasts at me, baby. <laughs> and they say. This is news from 66 WNBC, New York. Remembers 66 years of New York's most memorable radio. This is the National Broadcasting Company. During our 66 years of broadcasting, we've covered the bombing of Pearl Harbor and the atomic destruction of Hiroshima, the Korean conflict, and the Vietnam War. But in 1971, it was WNBC that dropped a bomb on New York. Automatically sunshine, supreme for Jeannie Terrell. My name is Simon Cinemorni, and it is 8.54 at WNBC, 6 till 9. We're at 66 in New York. This just in, a submarine has been commandeered off the coast of Warsaw, and the hijacking has demanded... Five hundred thousand dollars and two parachutes. <laughs> Cleveland lost a legend, and New York gained the most unpredictable radio personality it had ever heard. But that was only the beginning. In 1973, the station really started to howl. <laughs> WNBC welcomed one of New York's premier radio personalities as he moved down the dial to 66. Hello, everybody. This is your cousin, Bruce e. I must say, a very, very excited cousin, Bruce e tonight. We have so many things happening here. It's the first time, I think, another 13 years of broadcasting. And I'm just so pleased. I am so proud to be with NBC. It is sort of a, a culmination of a career. Every guy, I think, in radio wants to be with those beautiful call letters, NBC. And from now on, every night, 6 to 10 o'clock, and on Saturday, 8 to midnight, your cousin Brucey will be here, and I'd like you to call your friends, talk to them, and tell them we're right here at Fantastic 66 NBC. Now, turn up NBC, let the world know where we are, and they will, I promise you, they will. Ladies and gentlemen, mark this down, the first record I'm to play here at NBC, my first choice, a friend's we're just starting. The excitement is here. Real Radio has returned to New York. By the way, I got a beautiful telegram from Wolfman Jack. Dear Bruce E., may you start things right with the light of goodness shining down on yourself. And you better know I is with you in spirit. I'm the wolf. Cousin Brucey, e., Wolfman Jack, and Imus in the Morning did more than just play music. They continue the legacy of entertainment and memorable personality that have been the hallmark of WNBC Radio for 66 years. WNBC. It's coming up on seven minutes after 10 o'clock, I miss in the morning. WNBC Sports, uh, tonight the Dodgers take on the Mets. That will be at 8 o'clock. And uh, Charles says, let me say this, that I, this is, of course, our final moments. Yes, I know. On uh, WNBC, and I'm yeah. going to miss you. I'm going to miss you, Don. No. And uh, it's, been, <laughs> it's been great working with you these 17 years. Yes, it has. Yes, it has. So, uh, I have your phone number, right? Yeah. 
Okay. So I'll give you a call from time to time to see uh, you know what you're going to do or anything. <laughs> well, I'll be in the parking lot out at uh, Shea Stadium. <laughs> ah! Ah! Maybe, just maybe, yeah. think about this. Fate will intervene, mm -hmm. and you'll get hit by a bus. <laughs> <laughs> On the way. <laughs> you know, maybe I'll just maybe I'll have the big the, uh, maybe I'll have the big heart attack on the treadmill. Could today. be, could be. Maybe, maybe you'll wind up uh, at gate B, and you'll say, "Where'd everybody go?" In fact, if I'm um, if I'm clutching my chest, yeah, over there at the sports training institute today, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go in peace. I understand. Uh, so I will see you uh, Monday morning. Yes, you will. In uh, wherever we're supposed to be. I have, it's a new area code. That's yeah. all I know. And we'll, we'll be up on the same place on the dial, we suspect. We want to uh, send this out to all of the people here at the radio station in what will uh, be a true test of uh, their spirit. But we'll find out who will make it in the long run. Eagle Ease. Heartbreak Radio Station, WNPC. I used to hurry a lot. WNPC. I used to hurry a lot. WNPC. Long, long time ago. Bye, bye. 66 WNBC, Ray Darion on your radio, playing the last rock and roll on AM in New York. And Chuck Berry was there all through it all. WNBC. And the Rolling Stones at 66 WNBC. Some vintage Rolling Stones right down on your radio, WNBC. brings you a value like this, we call it a great item. Imagine a 19-inch cable-ready color TV with on-screen readout of time and channel, 17-key remote control, precise quartz tuning, and more. Now imagine all that at a price like this, just $258. You save $91. Right now, Sears can bring you a TV with all that for $258, only through Saturday. Look for Sears Great Item stamp of approval, now at Sears. Honey, what's this in my coffee? Oat bran. Oh, you've been sneaking oat bran in everything. Soup, salad. It's good for you. Think about cholesterol. Mm. How's your toast? Delicious. That's new oatmeal goodness bread. With uh, oat bran? In a low-fat, low-cholesterol diet, oat bran, eaten regularly, may help reduce serum cholesterol. And now, there's a way to help you get oat bran and love it. Oatmeal goodness bread. Okay, the bread's delicious, but I... Okay, okay, no oat bran in the jelly. New oatmeal goodness bread. The goodness of oat bran in a great-tasting bread. Book them, Sarge. Another peeping Tom. I was just looking at their Anderson windows. Listen to this nut. Goes to the Browns' house, asks to see the Andersons. Now you can look through the windows in some of the finest homes in the area without risking public embarrassment. Interstate and Lakeland Lumber's new Anderson window showroom at 31 Purdy Avenue in Porchester features full-sized architectural displays of Anderson windows' most popular models. For over 65 years, successful builders and homeowners have come to Interstate and Lakeland for the finest products and services. No wonder we've become your headquarters for Anderson, America's best-known name in quality windows. Our wide selection, competitive prices, and helpful sales staff make it easy to pick just the Anderson window you need. We even offer immediate delivery. So feel free to look through the windows in some of the area's finest homes. Oh, uh, sorry. In the safety and comfort of Interstate and Lakeland Lumber's new Anderson Window Showroom at 31 Purdy Avenue in Porchester. We're your Anderson Window Headquarters. Wow, 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 wow. 66 and the Fabs on 66 WNBC. Ah! On 66 WNBC from the Fabs to the King. Hey, hey, I'm all shook up. WNBC. Hello, babe. Hey, baby, that's what I like. <laughs> Big Bobber at 66 WNBC. I'm Ray Dariano. It's 1031 in this afternoon. Mostly cloudy and cool. High in the mid-50s. Tonight, cloudy and quite cool. Low 40 to 45. And it's about 49 degrees right now. Well, this is it. The last uh, roundup, as they say. Last time to play rock and roll on AM radio in New York. It's quite amazing. The thing I will miss most about WNBC are the people that work here. Because uh, I never worked at a place with such a group of nice people. And uh, I really mean that. One of these people... It's Roseanne Barilli. Uh, she's back there working uh, 
typing her fingers to the bone for the big shots, you know? She wanted to hear this one. It means something to her. A record that was played on WNBC. It is right now, come to think of it. Sister Sledge. Is that who this is? Oh, yeah, on WNBC. <laughs> Yeah, baby, 66 WNBC, that's for Roseanne and everybody here at WNBC. We're going to split up today, but uh, we are a family. Frankie Valley, Four Seasons. 66 WNBC, Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons. And what would a final broadcast be without being able to say, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Frank Perdue? Well, these chickens are approved by the government. By Kodak. Value right, value right. Check the yellow pages for your nearest value right pharmacy. Ray Dariano, 66 WNBC. And a song that means a lot to some of the people that worked here over the years at WNBC. You used to have these boat rides uh, with the uh, sponsors and the staff and everybody. And when they did, this was sort of the theme song. The Used Corporation from 1974 on 66 WNBC. So I like WNBC, the used corporation, and rocked the boat. Some fine memories for the staff of WNBC. One lady who has really been uh, very helpful to me and helpful to everybody is uh, Ms. Brenda Graham. And this is for you, you wonderful one. You is for Brenda on 66 WNBC. On 66 WNBC, I want to send this one out to my main man, Joseph Maglia Jr. He requested it. He's my pal, and it's on WNBC. This is for you, buddy. Fantastic, Johnny C. WNBC. Sixty-six. WNBC. Fantastic, Johnny C. And ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Frank Perdue. Ray Dariano. Sixty-six. WNBC. Well, I'd just like to say on behalf of all the guys who work on the weekend on the Time Machine, Peter Shane and Jim Collins and Bob James and who am I leaving out? Dan Taylor. Dan, oh, I didn't want to mention Dan. Dan Taylor and uh, Carol Mason. Uh, you know, they didn't know last week was their last Time Machine. And uh, the fans of those guys and that lady, uh, I'm sure they just want to say thank you for your support and they love you and they'll see you around, okay? They're going to be around. And, um... That's that. Also, I want to thank you for the calls and letters. Uh, send this out to Patricia. 66 WNBC. 66 WNBC. That's the association. And this is Lenny Welsh. 66 WNBC. I'm Ray Darren. That's Lenny Welsh. And, uh, of course, this is our last day of broadcasting. WFAN will be on this frequency starting tonight with the Met game. And uh, at 12 o'clock, a very special uh, program that Dale Parsons, the program director, and uh, some of the other people here have been working on for quite a while now. A look back at the history of WNBC. Uh, going all the way back to oh, Jack Benny and W.C. Fields. And then in modern times, uh, cousin Bruce Morrow worked here and also uh, Murray the K, a uh, favorite of mine. And uh, uh, that's going to be at 12 o'clock today, followed by the Alan Combs Show. And on Alan's show today, a lot of the great broadcasters that have worked on WNBC over the years will actually be here in the studio reminiscing. Uh, some of them will be on the phone. Uh, but it'll be a great several hours of talk and conversation about the history of WNBC and about uh, radio in general, and radio in New York. So, uh, but meanwhile, we'll be here for another hour playing some of your favorite stuff. Uh, we'll do the weather for you, and uh, then we'll go to the news, all right? Because I'm getting behind, I'm getting crazy. This afternoon, mostly cloudy and cool, high in the mid-50s. And tonight, cloudy and quite cool, low 40 to 45, so it's going to be cold out at Big Shea. It's about 49 degrees right now. We'll take a break from the news, and then we'll be back for the final hour. This is news. 66 WNBC, New York. Good morning, I'm Julia Hernandez. Here's what's happening at 11 o'clock. The analysts, Wall Street and political, are busy going over the latest unemployment figures. With just 32 days until the presidential election, the Labor Department says the jobless rate dropped two-tenths of a point last month, and more than 250,000 people found jobs. Edward Yardeni, chief economist for Prudential Beige, says it's good news for the GOP. The fact that the unemployment rate dropped and that uh, job gains were uh, 
were impressive. Uh, all in all, uh, probably helped the Republicans. However, NBC's Irving R. Levine says it might not be such good news for the stock market. The stock market rose 52 points last month when unemployment climbed, and consequently the market may not welcome the lower rate, the drop to 5.4 percent. That's because a drop in unemployment raises fears that the economy is growing too fast, which could spark inflation and higher interest rates. NBC's Irving R. Levine. The chief executives of the nation's largest businesses predict economic growth is going to slow enough next year to avoid severe inflation. The survey by the Business Council shows the CEOs believe the economy this year will grow at its best rate in four years. The repercussions of the Tawana Brawley case are still being felt even after a grand jury conclusion that the black Dutchess County teenager made up her story about kidnap and sexual assault by a gang of white men. State Attorney General Robert Abrams is recommending disciplinary action against Brawley lawyers Seaburn and Mason and Alton Maddox and says that his office and that of U.S. Attorney Rudolph Giuliani are investigating activist Al Sharpton. Anti-abortion activists continue their so-called siege of Atlanta and on this the fourth and final day at least 50 arrests are reported already. Dozens of protesters have been blocking entrances to Atlanta abortion clinics but the number of demonstrators has dwindled as the week's gone on. There are rumblings in the Middle East today about hostages being held in Lebanon, but there is no confirmation that anyone is about to be released. Secretary of State Schultz is denying a claim in an Israeli newspaper that the U.S. has been negotiating with Iran to win freedom for the hostages. Finally, in Clinton Township, New Jersey, there is a house with quite a distinction, but a most unwelcome distinction at that. Environmental officials say the Hunterdon County home appears to have the highest levels of radon ever measured in a building, 800 times higher than the federal safety standard. Most of the other nearby homes, of course, also registered very high readings of the colorless, odorless, cancer-causing gas. News time is 11.02. WNBC News sponsored by Southern New England Telephone. An international gold exchange where one of the world's most valuable commodities is traded and where volatile gold prices can fluctuate minute to minute. $433. When your business is marketing gold products to high technology industries, how do you keep a far-flung sales force on top of such rapid and crucial price changes? $429. A firm in Bloomfield, Connecticut uses voice messaging from Southern New England Telephone. Sales representatives in dozens of states nationwide are simultaneously brought up to date and customers kept informed with just a single phone call. Gold closed today in London at $437. The system also lets salespeople leave messages in voice mailboxes any time of day or night, and it gives customers toll-free access to sales representatives around the clock. Harry, I want to place an order, but we need fast turnaround. Voice messaging from SNET, where world-class technology is serving Connecticut. <laughs> At 11.03, WNBC wants you to know that you can help the growing number of families asking for foster care services by calling the New York Foundling Hospital at 212-472-2233. Here are the latest tri-state area conditions from the WNBC Traffic and Transit Network. Outbound lower level 59th Street Bridge shut down because of police activity. Inbound at the Lincoln Tunnel, there's a 25-minute delay. Inbound Holland and George Washington Bridge, just 10-minute backups. And on the Newark Bay extension of the Jersey Turnpike, there will be alternate lane closures in both directions between Interchange 14 and the Holland Tunnel. WNBC Sports, the Mets and the Dodgers play Game 3 of the National League Championship Series tonight at Shea. The best of seven series tied at one game apiece. Ron Darling getting the start against John Tudor. It's a day off for the A's and Red Sox in the American League Series. The A's lead that series two games to none. And on the ice, the Islanders skate against the Oilers in Edmonton. WNBC weather calling for a mostly cloudy, cool afternoon with the high in the mid-50s. Cloudy and cool tonight, low 42-45. Mostly cloudy chilly tomorrow, a chance of light rain or drizzle, high 50 to 55. The outlook for Sunday continued partly cloudy and cool. Right now, 50 degrees, and that's what's happening. I'm Julia Hernandez, WNBC News. WNBC remembers 66 years of New York's most memorable radio. This is the National Broadcasting Company. 
by 1960, the station you are now listening to had operated under five different sets of call letters. W2XY, WBAY, WEAF, WNBC, and WRCA. On May 20th, 1960, the station once again unveiled a new name that was really an old name. And with us today, to inaugurate our name change officially, we have his honor, Mayor Robert F. Wagner, who has joined us for the first of our new station identifications. Good morning, Mr. Mayor. Good morning, Phil. I'm delighted to be here because, <clears throat> as you said, the whole objective here is the change that takes place in this fascinating city and world of ours. Uh, although New York City has, uh, is old in many areas, yet we have continued changes. Anyone who takes a ride along the East River Drive can see the tremendous changes in our housing there or on the west side. Uh, see what is happening <clears throat> in Lincoln Square where we'll have the greatest cultural center in the whole world. New York City is, is one that has been changing and always will continue to change. As they say, it'll be a great city uh, sometime when it's finally completed. But I think that's the fascination of New York, and therefore it's a great privilege for me uh, to do something uh, uh, to identify the station. And this is now WNBC in New York. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And so 66 on the AM dial had at last been christened with a name that would stay around for a while. 28 years, in fact. But during those remaining 28 years, WNBC was still destined to lead the way into new arenas of broadcasting. WNBC. 66 And in our last hour to rock and roll on the radio, we got to play the Fabs again. WNBC, the Fabs, twist and shout. 66 WNBC. And the wonder is Stevie on 66 WNBC. For the very last time on WNBC, The Wonder of Stevie, uh, 66. I'm Ray Dariano. It's 11.14. We're going to be here till 12 o'clock. And then Dale Parsons will be here with an incredible uh, special that he's been working on. A look back at the history of this radio station going all the way back to the days of Jack Benny, right up to the days of uh, Imus in the morning. Some guys uh, recently, of course, there have been engineers and technicians all throughout the years. But guys, I'd like to salute the uh, staff that's been here since I've been here. Oh, Ashley Faulkner was an uh, engineer on a show I worked on here. Uh, he's gone on to TV, but Bill Krauss, Jeff Baker, and Greg All, Harry Tucker, Bruce Leonard, these are the guys that keep the thing uh, going, and they uh, deserve... Airchecks.com, your home for classic radio, brought alive through the tapes of our contributors. Airchecks.com.